When comparing the physical properties of straight-chained alcohols against their alkane counterparts, it's clear they have a relatively higher boiling and melting point. This graph shows in red methane, ethane, propane, and butane, versus in blue methanol, ethanol, propanol, and butanol. By the way, this graph was sourced from chemguide.co.uk. But why is this the case? Outlined in a previous video, the trend is that the greater number of carbons in a hydrocarbon chain, the more dispersion forces between neighboring molecules. So naturally, it would take more energy, say in the form of heat, to break these into molecular forces. Alcohols, however, contain the hydroxyl functional group, which allows hydrogen bonding to occur between their neighboring molecules. Since this is a much stronger form of intermolecular bonding, more energy is required to break it, therefore boiling points should be higher. Alcohols also tend to dissolve readily in water. If they can form intermolecular bonds such as hydrogen bonds or dipole-dipole forces, the presence of the hydroxyl group makes this possible. Just like in your experiment with alcohols and water, it was evident that methanol, ethanol, and propanol were all soluble in water as there were no clear distinction between the two liquids. The non-polar tail of each hydrocarbon had little to no effect on intermolecular bonding and the hydroxyl functional group readily formed hydrogen bonds. However, solubility decreases with increasing length of the hydrocarbon chain. Dispersion forces between the hydrocarbons become more prominent and water molecules struggle to keep the individual hydrocarbons separated. For example, in your butanol and pentanol mixtures, two layers can clearly be seen. For example, 2-methylpropentuol is soluble in water, which is an isomer of 1-butanol, which is insoluble. This is because the surface area of the non-polar region decreases, so tertiary alcohols have greater solubility than secondary alcohols, which have a greater solubility than primary alcohols. Viscosity is described as a measure of the fluids resistant to flow. Think of water versus honey. Honey is much more viscous. So when the hydrocarbon chain increases, so do their intermolecular forces between neighboring molecules. Alcohols become more viscous as they get larger. So if you're struggling to spread the honey on your toasts, just weaken those intermolecular forces. Too easy.